gentlemen, welcome to Inventor 2017. Now I'm going to cherry pick a couple of Inventor part enhancements which they've brought into the 2017 release. Not them all, but just the ones that I think are worth highlighting and uh, I think people are going to use more than the others. So the first one is window cross select multiple closed profiles within the extrude command. Oh, what does that mean? Right, well, when you click extrude in a part file, you can now use a cross window to select multiple uh, profiles to use with the extrude command. So that's nice. That's nice. This is one of those things where it's like, you, you couldn't do that before, could you not? No, you can't. <laughs> well, you, you can now. You can now. So that's uh, cross a window, drag over multiple profiles, and it will use those with the extrude command. Right, something else which they brought in, which is, it's nice that it's there. Whether you'll use it or not, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how cluttered this information is going to be on really complex parts. But what you can do is you select something in the browser, uh, right click on it, and then go to relationships. So this is a new option on the right click menu. Relationships will show you a breakdown of what that feature either depends on or contributes towards. So this revolution here, which is uh, this 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 cut here, which is going around like sort of like the, the, the middle of the rim. That has these parents, right? So these parents mean that this feature can't exist without these existing. So if you were to delete Revolution 1, Revolution 5 is probably going to collapse and fail. So the parents of Revolution 5 are these features, sketches, and work features. And in terms of children, this revolution here uh, has these work features and 3D features as children and you can directly interact with them from here so you can say well actually well, okay well this feature is not quite working properly i want to try and diagnose a problem and you can use these icons here to edit its parents or its children straight from this one stop dialog box so that's quite nice and then finally they've put a couple of additional design views into the part template now these aren't going to appear in existing parts it's only going to be when you start a new ipt in 2017. so when you go to the design view drop down you're going to have isometric front top and right and that just me it's just it's just view cube views it's it's just a convenience thing it's not really going to rock your world in any way shape or form but you've now got an isometric view which if you double click it's just going to set the view cube at an isometric view front and then the same for top and uh, right. So they're just preset views, not massive, but I thought it was worth mentioning because someone might see them and be like, what, what does that do? Just set, set camera views, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. All right, so there's some new part feature enhancements in 2017, looking good, looking good. Check out the rest of the playlist for what's new in Inventor 2017. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done already, and I'll see you in the next video. Doodles.